Hello there everyone. We're back with Nadine on a dreadful Talk TV Friday evening show. What I was just thinking before I was going to record this is, isn't it worrying how she's become known by just one name, Nadine? It's almost like she's in very exclusive company now. Bono, Cheryl, Sting, Twiggy, um, Oprah, Morrissey. Uh, Drake and Nadine yeah thankfully unlike the rest of them she does not have the talent to keep up this media gig for very long I don't think this is surely not sustainable but anyway the topic is asylum seekers and Nadine is going to attempt to obfuscate lie deflect any underhand tactic you can think of really on behalf of the Conservative Party Unfortunately, she is up against Kevin Maguire, who is considerably smarter than her. He is, um, I think he's associate editor of The Mirror. And he very politely puts her right on almost every piece of gibberish to come from a loudmouth gob. So let's take a look, shall we? Shall we go on to migrants next? So, um, Kevin, I'll come to you on this because it's been a hot topic in Westminster this week. And you know, we've already talked about the the language and the need for mm -hmm. temperate language. But you know, it does seem to me listening to Yvette Cooper at the dispatch box, Labour can't criticize the government for not doing anything when these men they can't, you know, cry the pity card of what about the children, what about the families? And then when a solution is put forward for housing and accommodation, then cry that that's not appropriate yeah. either. Where is the alternative, Kevin? Yeah. Why aren't Labour coming up with an alternative no. to what we're doing at the moment? There's, there's genuine, gen, genuine concern on parts of the Conservative side too about the treatment of kids. Oh yeah, right. absolutely. And that, and so I, I totally agree with that. So I don't think I don't think that's crocodile tears. I think that's genuine concern. I mean, children are innocent. Yeah. They don't make a decision up whether but, they they are yeah. trapped in a small boat. And so. as, as you know, Labour's got their five point plan and of course the key and i but suspect so much as it is stop the salience e always easier said than done and then speed up we the, can all say speed that. up the we processing can all say stop the because the processing has collapsed on the watch of the uk conservative government why why though why? the reason why it's, cl what, I why it's collapsed it. because of the numbers because yeah. of the the unpredictable you, the unpredictable Dean. Nadine, number of small boats years, which are now trying to reach our years shores. of cutting departmental spending uh, was always going to damage the fabric of the state and its ability to deal with this now i look at housing people in tell me which in cuts former, there have been in the home office tell me how many numbers the, home the criminal is. justice system you know the criminal oh. justice system has gone big what was that what, <laughs> what was that she she <laughs> wasn't that brilliant she i'm sorry to butt in but we're going to have to rewatch that. She tried to catch him out on what? What? What have we cut? What? What? What have we cut? And then he went criminal justice system, and she immediately conceded. Let's just watch that again. Oh, that was. Oh, that is tragic. Uh, I look at housing people in. Tell me which cuts former... there have been in the home office. Tell me how many numbers the look home office. The criminal offices. justice system. You know the criminal oh. justice system has gone because courts were You're closed. You're going off people... on tangents no, 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 but you, now. You know, but on. I think it's not. What? <laughs> He's what? He's going off on tangents. He he he. <laughs> He's just speaking. He's not. He's not done anything. Sorry, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People moan at me for interrupting. I, I, how can I not? How can I not? You're going off on tangents now. How can? <laughs> how can I not interrupt? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go back. I'll go back a bit. I'm sorry. Tell me how many numbers the Home The criminal is. justice system. You know the criminal oh. justice system is gone because courts were closed. You're going off People... on tangents no, 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 but you, now. You know, but on, I think there's nothing in principle wrong with using former bases, call them reception centres. I think they've got to be a decent standard. Actually, in some cases, ships, because the Scottish government 
use ships for Ukrainians when they arrive, as long yeah, as it's short term. Arms but you the have, proposal to, to, use but you ships. have to deal with people quickly, and that is not what is happening. Just locking people up for month after month after month, although in these. Uh, reception areas, camps, whatever you want to call them, they'll be able to come So I'm going to go, I'm going to say, there's a really important point you've missed there. It is impossible to process these people quickly because what happens now is they arrive in those boats with absolutely zero paperwork. You And employ, apparently not even knowing where they've come from, you, having been through Nadine, a safe country to get Nadine. here. Wow. She went for the trifecta there, didn't she? The three talking points in one. They arrive with no paperwork. They don't know where they came from, and they've been through an already safe country to get here. I mean, could it, it, it's like a lesson. It's, this is an education you're watching here. This is an education in nonsense. Have you noticed as well, Kevin Maguire throughout this whole exchange, when she started rambling about rubbish, he's going, Nadine, N Nadine, Nadine. Like a parent who's trying to calm his child after denying them a chocolate bar. Nadine, Nadine, Nadine. You employ native speakers with knowledge of areas. If somebody says, I've come from Syria, but I'm it slows fleeing persecution. Down Where in the, Syria, it slows you down do it, the processing. You can do it a lot quicker. And the, uh, we know there's a lot of dirty politics here, and a lot, of, a lot of it is intended to inflame. It's not intended to solve the problem. It's te intended to be an electoral issue. And I think that's really, really unpleasant. I don't think it's very good for Britain. Uh, look, if people are coming over as migrants, economic migrants, and they're not allowed to stay, you need a system to take them home. But there are others who are asylum seekers and refugees. They're men, women and children f fleeing and so persecution. You, they so should, you think they, they should, should be go home. back home? You think they should be taken I think, back home? I think home. if you don't have a legitimate claim, and I think you should be uh, handled in a, a civilised way and, and a well, quickly, saying, absolutely. But you think they should be returned to Well, some, well some, yes, but not people who are genuine refugees and asylum seekers. I think we should welcome them. And actually, other migrants do a great amount for Britain. Look, one of the reasons we're a great country is because we've attracted people from outside of incredible work rate and skills, and they bring cultural riches too. I, th I think, look, Britain, Britain is much better as a multicultural country. So, Alex... I want to look at a picture of the barges, the proposed barges. What... Look at that thing. It's like a, a floating Alcatraz. Let's find the details for this very ship, shall we? Let's have a look at it. We'll find HMS Bar 914. So this is it. HMS Bar 914, an accommodation barge for hire. 310 guests. So let's have a look what it's got here. So barge... Region Southeast Asia, so it's currently in Indonesia, so it needs to get here first. So again, we're we're way down the line that this is not coming anytime soon. We have accommodation barges available from locations across the globe. This high quality accommodation barge for hire with 310 single cabins and substantial facilities and public areas is available for charter hire now in Southeast Asia region. 310 single bedrooms with en suites and flat screen TV, large kitchen and restaurant, gym, bar and lounge, impressive atrium with reception deck, uh, uh, sewerage system, uh, air conditioning throughout. This does not strike me as cost effective at all. This surely is a pipe dream. How on earth 310 single rooms. You would need so many of these barges. Now this is not cost effective. I, I can't I can't sit here and pretend this is a this is ever going to happen. Anyway, back with Nadine. What's your opinion? Yeah, I, I see no problem with this. In fact, I, I said that about a year ago, the best way to actually deal with people arriving in the country legally would probably be to keep them offshore. Um, but as Kevin was saying, you have to treat this accommodation as temporary, and that depends upon having faster processing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it's interesting. The public are rightfully really up in arms about um, the, the, the amount of human traffic crossing the channel. Uh, but it's actually also a very useful distraction from another figure which we're not talking about, and that is the prediction of the over who are saying that our population is now likely to increase year upon year to the tune of about half 
a million. That's their current estimation. Uh, it's gone up substantially the since there a was year ago. Wrong, so you're they? talking about every four years, a million more people. The OBR are frequently wrong, aren't they? Says Nadine, under a, muttering under her breath in the background. Bloody experts. People added to the economy. The OBR also said that um, they don't expect the influx of people to be any more productive than our native population, that there's going to be the same amount of people not working as those working. But Alex, we do and have so to take into context the OBR. Okay. It is a out. prediction and they are You've often You've got to keep wrong. us out of a recession. People will come in here and Well, no, working. not actually. No, not, oh. not come actually. Come in here and do those jobs we no. won't do. How well, no, but this is, what, no, but this is, is what's yeah. interesting. The fact that they were saying that they don't expect we have no the rate of those entering the employment market to be any higher than um, among um, the domestic population. And so what you're talking about is exponentially growing the population at a rate of a million every four years. And how on earth are our public Public service is going to cope with it. There's not enough house building. We don't have enough hospitals. I think this is going to be a really yeah. huge problem in, in, in years to come. And yes, the small boats issue is, you know, terrible optics and it's an awful trade in, in, in human beings, but it is creating a distraction from a far bigger issue when it comes to the growth of our population with actually legal migration. Alex is absolutely right. We don't have the schools, we don't have the hospitals, we don't have the transport system, we don't have the infrastructure to increase. But again, I... I'm sorry, Nadine, you've been in your constituency of mid-Bedfordshire since 2005. You were in Boris Johnson's government. Look, for God's sake, 13 years and she's just reeling off all of the things they don't have enough of. Uh, with no shame whatsoever. No irony. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough of this. We don't have enough of that. We don't have enough of this. We don't have enough... So how are we going to take these... <laughs> uh, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. So join me, please. Laugh with me. I think those, those numbers are actually predictions. And this is the problem. People go to extremes in their analogies when actually it's very often mm. not the extremes that are correct. What, what, it's I would somewhere it's going in to between. turn out to be an underestimate, there. actually. What, what, isn't it, what isn't a prediction is the fact we just had record net migration of 504,000. Some people have sold Brexit as a way of ending that. Now, that figure was inflated for a year because of people coming from Ukraine, for, for instance, and it, and it will go down. But we have an ageing workforce. We are an ageing country, so without, you and I too without, them, yeah, without fresh blood, we will be stuffed. So, talking about stuffing or shoving... Uh, we'll leave it there. Thanks, Nadine. Right, what did we learn from this experience class? So, we learned that we don't have enough hospitals, schools, prisons or just infrastructure in general. Um, and the person saying that was a sitting member of parliament for the Conservative Party. We also learn that Kevin Maguire likes to go off on tangents now. We learned that. Um, what else do we learn? We learned that the barge that they put on the screen is currently in Indonesia. Um, and can only accommodate 310 people. So that's really a, quite a bit of a non-starter, to be honest. What was it? A list of 160,000 or so asylum seekers. That's the backlog. So how many of those barges will be near? It's a non-starter. It clearly isn't economically viable. There's no way it is. Imagine the staffing levels you'd need on one of those barges. Imagine the catering and imagine the security. And it just... And think about the logistics of getting supplies to the barges. We also learn that the OBR, according to Nadine Dorries, is always wrong and can't be trusted. Ah, oh dear. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so in, in essence, we learned that nothing, nothing is the fault of a conservative, didn't we? All right. Uh, well done to Kevin Maguire for pushing back on all of that rubbish. And thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.